If we look back on how the Corolla Cross was unveiled in 2021, it came out for the Thailand market first, and then it rolled out the next year here in North America. And then they killed off the CHR shortly after because it kind of competes in the same segment, at least here stateside. The CHR, of course, lives on in Europe and Japan and other markets. But since Thailand's a year ahead of us with product cadence on the Corolla Cross, They've just come out with a refresh with new looks, new technology. And this is, uh, we could be coming for our car in 2025 when our model is due for its own refresh built out of the Alabama plant alongside Mazdas. So let's get into it. <laughs> Guys, if you're excited for updates on the Corolla Cross, smash the like button. You know, what was it last year, a year and a half ago, we got the Corolla Cross Hybrid. And for around $30,000, I think it's the segment leader. No, the exterior, the interior, it's not my favorite, but that hybrid powertrain that I'm driving right now in the Prius is fantastic. And it's all wheel drive standard on this Corolla Cross Hybrid. So roughly 200 horsepower. And in this car, you're gonna be getting over 40 miles per gallon. So what I have at the bottom here is the design, um, this yellow, Gosh, what is that called? Acidic Blast, that color. This is the hybrid, and this is the back of the hybrid, which I think is pretty similar to the back of the non-hybrid. And this is the front, guys. This is the front. I, I've never liked the front of this standard Corolla Cross. This is the gas CVT model. And this is the premium upscale. I think this is what the, the limited that has the fog lights. Um, and it looks worse, of course, without the fog lights, but it just looks like it's angry or upset, you know, frowny mouth situation. This looks better in my opinion. This is what the Corolla Cross actually when it launched in Japan, this design down here, that's what it was. And then they finally brought it to us only in the hybrid grade. So let's get into what it actually looks like now with this re fresh this big refresh uh, for Thailand and I'm quite impressed actually in fact it has a lot of Lexus RX F Sport characteristics to it so we'll check out these upgraded headlights will we see them in North America may I highly doubt it Japan's had fancier headlights than our market as well and I just don't expect them to come here but check this out. The fog lights are about in the same spot and this bottom portion of the grill looks to be very similar, right? Everything above this bottom bumper area that's not painted is completely redesigned. Even the little piece that flows into, well, the hood ends right behind this piece, but look, they paint matched it. It looks way better than making the grill look like it's taken over the car. Um, of course, you have the blue hybrid logo. Uh, as well. And a 360 camera on this, you have a glass roof, which we'll show you, but this looks like the Lexus RX front end. And I'm going to pull that up for you guys as well. All right. So pulled up the, um, the good old 500 H FSP. And let's see if I can get a better look for you guys of that front end. And yes, it has the HEV logo here, which when our Toyota Corolla Cross hybrid came out, it just said hybrid. It's also behind in that regard. It didn't come out with the Beyond Zero logo like the new Prius has and the new Crown has, for example. Here we go. Here's a better image uh, of the, the Corolla Cross up front now. And checking out the RX. Look, it kind of has that same design in the quarter portion. Now the RX is, is much lower. Check out the grill design as well. I think the Corolla Cross's grill looks better. The RX, the F Sport, well, the RX in general, the new redesign is not my favorite design by any means. But um, I think the new Corolla Cross refresh looks better. I'll see you guys down below on that. Now, unlike the new Prius, for example, it doesn't it, it? They can't do too much to give it like the new Hammerhead design. This was before that Hammerhead design started coming into the Toyota lineup. And so, for example, the Toyota emblem is right in front, like a nose. Where now, like on the new Prius, and I think the Crown, for example, that Toyota logo sits more in this area. So in some ways they did try to give it the more modern Toyota Lexus redesign with kind of with this silver bar in the front. Oh, here we go. This is an even better image. The silver bar in the front that kind of represents that hammerhead design. And then they try to incorporate it as well into the daytime running lights to a certain se uh, sense to make this look wider as it kind of looks like one big piece flowing across where here it's all disjointed and angry. Uh, it looks it looks better. I'm not going to say it looks amazing, but it's taking 
modern Toyota and Lexus elements and incorporating it like this spindle body grill. Um, I think we saw it recently in something else from Toyota. Maybe, oh, you know, I think it's the new uh, Camry redesign that has this spindle body grill in it, but the new Camry has the hammerhead design elements in it, and this does not. Of course, it's hard to retroactively place those design elements on an older designed vehicle that wasn't supposed to have a hammerhead in it at all. I think we have an exterior. Oh, yeah. Check out the glass roof. That's something we could only dream of. Um, red seeds. Check out that red leather as well. Um, and there's additional accessories as well. Of course, a body kit that you can put on. Um, and then in the back, it looks like it's paint matched and it says Corolla cross up here as well. So interesting little decals and bumper accents that you can add stuff like that. Now the interior, um, they have added this right here, which is the fully digital MID. We see this on upper end Toyota and Lexus models, or even just higher trim levels. Um, we see it in the new crown, the, the upper ends of the RAV4, for example. I'm not sure if this is the, the 10 or the 12 inch digital screen. I believe this is still the eight inch screen right here. Besides this digital screen right here, the interior looks very similar, except for this panel roof. We could only dream of having a panel roof like this in our curl across and it never will because it would be too expensive for Toyota to incorporate that much glass. Unfortunately, that's just the, the way it is. Now, unfortunately, also for their market, they hardly have any colors. Like Celestite Gray has a little blue hue in it. The rest of them are black, white, silver, and gray. Now, Car Scoops also came upon some other images here. Um, we have a Corolla Cross GR Sport. What do you think about this front end? It looks like a shrunken down RAV4 mixed with a shrunken down Highlander. I think it's pretty ugly, but let me know what you guys think down below. I do like the blacked out rear taillights. I think that's pretty cool. I do like seeing that GR badge in the back, the blacked out window surrounds, blacked out roof, kind of giving a two-tone roof. Um, there's that interior. Oh, also they get ambient lights in their interior on their doors, which I don't think we do on our Corolla Cross in the United States, but I could be wrong. I haven't driven a Corolla Cross in a very, very long time. And I haven't had the, the hybrid variant in for review. I've only uh, drove it at the press release, which that's when I'm like, hey, this is the best car you can buy in the segment around $30,000. 40 plus miles per gallon and zero to 60 around seven seconds, which is pretty quick. Seven and a half, something like that. Yeah, the new Corolla Cross, man. I hope we get the, the updated looks. You know, maybe you guys prefer the looks of this guy down below. This, I think, is a little bit better looking with the hybrid. Um, I mean, it completely looks like a different car uh, with, with the hybrid front end compared to this. And there's the screen, the upgraded screen. I think that's the 12 inch screen. Here's the basic screen, uh, which is the seven inch screen here. Um, this used to be the optional screen on, on older Toyota models. <laughs> Ironically, this is an optional screen on the $50,000 Sienna hybrid. Um, <clears throat> the price of the Corolla Cross over in Thailand starts around 27, 28,000 US dollars equivalent, which is 900, about a million baht. I know it's hard to compare different markets, but at least when you convert it to US dollars, it's about identical to how, to where ours starts at. Um, yeah, their seats definitely look nicer. This is a GR Sport, I think, with the bolsters and the more fancier lines in the seats. Um, yeah, look at that panel roof. It looks it looks quite good. Yeah, and I guess golfing might be big in Thailand as well, where these images are taken. So let me know what you guys think of the new Corolla Cross. The powertrains are, are the same. Um, and fingers crossed we get this sort of cool updated design for the 2025 model year. Man, from this angle, I think it looks a little bit Subaru-like as well. A little bit of the new Forester. Let me know what you guys think there. I know we'll get an update for the 2025 model year Corolla Cross, but will it be this design? Not quite sure. But will we see this fully digital MID? Again, not quite sure. Will we see ambient line? Will we see a glass roof? Highly unlikely. Quick update on the Corolla Cross. And if I see other fascinating updates with uh, upcoming Toyota models, I'll let you know in an upcoming video. Have a good day and peace.